Wedge, and welcome back to another episode of My World Tank Street Plays. This time we'll be looking at my personal favorite T49. I just love this thing. I decided to keep this over the Hellcat, that's how much I love this thing. But, uh, um, unfortunately, I had a lot of good replays, and those replays no longer exist. Uh, we had a bit of a uh, computer issue. I just won't talk about it. I'm a little upset about it, but managed to get 90% of the stuff off of it. Did not get my replays off of it, so that really sucks. Okay, in this game you'll see me utilizing about every aspect of this tank, except for maybe its camouflage value, which is extremely high, if you look at that profile. Um, now, what this tank is really underappreciated for is that gun. That gun is the M1A1 with 120 defendant and 115 damage, but it fires every 2.8 seconds. So this thing is just, an it has a fantastic BPM for a tier 5 tank story, it's off the charts. And that's really what you just gotta use with this thing. So, starting off here, setting up on the side of the hill here. I'm not sure exactly why. Just trying to find some sort of good position. But uh, just sitting back in the tank shore position. Um, this game isn't particularly like I get a ton of kills. Well, yeah, this is not like this is I get a ton of kills or I do crap load of damage. This is a this is actually a fun game to watch once it gets to a certain point. Not very much at the moment, but as you see, it's too bad you guys can't see that reload timer, but that's 2.8 seconds of shots I was firing into that M3 lately. So I'm, I'm here, I'm kind of thankful that this M2 medium is moving up. Because uh, I really don't want to uh, put myself up there because this thing has, oh, like 15 millimeters of armor? The M2's got much more than me. So. That's one thing you need to worry about in T49, you need to be how it's their safe. Unfortunate there, I brought him down to one health. Oh, now that I think about it, yeah. I wish I would have gotten that kill. Um, but yeah, me and this M2 heading up, just piling right through. Only a martyr there, this is a big mistake by the enemy team. So now we can start using this thing's speed to our advantage. As you see, this thing goes 60, 70, 72 downhill. And on flat ground, this thing goes 60. Its acceleration is amazing. So, I, I really don't understand why this is such an underappreciated tank. And its accuracy on the move isn't terrible. And despite what people say, it's actually not impossible to circle things. You just need to make sure you don't circle too fast. So I take out that T40 there, who was clearly AFK. Taking some blind shots at where that M37 was. I could probably be aiming down sniper mode, but too lazy at the moment. Somebody else takes out the M37. Now we know that early respotted an S35 CA down here, so I'm kind of uh, a little cautious because an S35 CA does 300 average damage, and that kind of hurts. But if he has 47 health, he's not facing me. He will be dead first. Um, so three kills so far, sitting back in their base, but I figure there's, they've got a guy in their base, they wiped out their other side. It's better to go back than it is to cap ourselves. So here I am rushing back to base, and it appears that they've got three on cap. So I need to get back there fairly quickly. That's not a problem as you see going 60, 61 consistently. Loaded premium rounds, not high explosive because they don't tend to do much, and there's an ET2. So, loading premium rounds here, just make sure I penetrate. Let's see, first I'm going to throw a shot into the BDR. I know I'm not going to be able to easily get a shot with the AT2, so I just, I just quit on the AT2. Back up, and just see if I can get that BDR down. If I can take out that BDR, he's the biggest threat in terms of his gun, so putting shots into the BDR, take out the BDR first, then deal with the M4. M4 makes a stupid shot with his howitzer there, and this is where I'll take advantage of his rate of fire. 
and take him out as well. But I still have to hurt an AT too. So I load my one high explosive round and fling it up there for 15 damage. That's so uh, 60 something base reset points. That's a really nice game. I hope you guys liked that. It was actually a much quicker game than I remember, but you, let's uh, watch the rest of this because it is fairly interesting. Let's see where I'm flipping over to. Panzer three doing the smart thing, making the MA Day one come around the corner. Just and if that M8A1 doesn't want to come around the corner, our team's perfectly okay with that because that M2 isn't going to bounce anything from an M8A1. So lucky that he doesn't come around the corner until now, and we win. That was a very good game by the team, and just a great example of the C49's flanking ability. Um, so I do have some screenshots, so let's go to those in a second. And here we are at the After Action Report. Um, let's see what we got here. We've got 21,502 credits received without premium, as usual. I don't buy premium. Um, 863 experience. Like I said, not necessarily a very good damage game or a very good kill game or whatever you want to say. But it, it was a fun game to watch and it was a... And I got a nice defender medal there, which is uh, not one of the more common medals. Not very often do you have a uh, situation where you can get defender. Um, and let's see. 600 damage to that poor BDR G1B. I feel really bad for him. He just didn't know what was happening to him. Um, let's see. 191 damage to the M4. 15 damage to the AT2 to reset all those defense, all those uh, points. That high explosive shell. Um, 47 damage to the S35 to finish them off. 276 to that M3 Lee. Again, I feel bad for the M3 Lee, but. T40, 275 damage. I don't feel bad for him because he was AFK. And 128 to the Martyr 2 when he had one health left. Uh, that would have been a Top Gun, but that's okay. Um, we'll see what else we did. Oh, critical hits. Uh, knock, knocked out his engine, then proceeded to destroy his engine. That was uh, not very nice for him. And injured the M3 Lee's driver. Um, so yes, let's move onward. Top of the team, 863 experience, like I said, 1,532 damage. I, yeah, this is not necessarily a top, like top-notch game or amazing stuff. It was just entertaining. I got Defender Medal. I was going all over the place. So, um, detail report: twenty-three shots fired, eighteen hits, seventeen penetrations. Um, I will say that is not even close to the amount of my record shots fired in the T forty-nine. I've run out of ammo in the T forty-nine many times. Uh, five hits received, five penetrations. If you if you receive a hit that's not a penetration in the T forty nine, I I just don't know. <laughs> that's almost impossible to do. Uh, three enemies spotted, seven damaged, and five destroyed. Uh, damage upon our spotting seventeen. Yeah. Um, base defense points one hundred and eighteen, more than enough for a defender. Uh, and traveled two point two three kilometers in our nice little speedy. T49. Um, so yeah, uh, we used our uh, premium uh, ammo there for cap resetting, and killing that BDR. So only made 576 credits, but that's okay. Um, so overall, I really say that once you learn the T T4 T49, it's just such a fantastic tank, such an underappreciated tank. I think that uh, if you look at the stats on various websites, it'll say that T49 ranks the lowest of the tier 5 tank shorts, but that's just because people just don't know how to use it. Um, well, there you go. It has 21 millimeters of hull armor, so, and 25 millimeters of turret armor, so, yeah, but just avoid howitzers. Don't let your speed get to your head, and just use that gun's rate of fire. Holy crap. 
Um, on that, until next time, goodbye.